Get more and more wicked. Ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill? Talking about that harvest. When the Lord cometh to harvest the wheat up into his barn and to burn the chaff, you know, which is like into a harvest. That's the end of the world. Matthew 13, right? So the Lord is saying, look, it's going to be death all over the earth compared to how much evil it is compared to righteousness, how much wickedness is compared to righteousness. Because we're in the wicked kingdom right now. That's why the Lord gave the, the earth into the hand of the wicked, as we always bring out. That's up. They should be loud. Psalms one and four. The ungodly are not so, or like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Right. The ungodly is not so. Go ahead. Read. Start over. Read that again. Psalms Call it one and four. Right. But the ungodly are not so. That's right. Right. The ungodly are not so. You know what? Go up a little bit and get read a little bit of one or two verses above it. When it gives it uh, what the righteous is doing, I believe. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the God. Right. Can you call it out? And read that again. Psalm. Psalm. Psalm one and one. Right. Blessed is the man who walk who walketh not in the counsel of the God. Now, when you look into the scripture, there's one group of people known as the ungodly. Another scripture said when the ungodly curses Satan, he curses his own soul. Talking about again, so-called white man Esau. Go ahead, bro. What standeth in the way of sinners. Right, blessed the man who walking out in the council of the ungodly or sitting out in the seat with the sinners. Go ahead. Who sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Right. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the law of the Lord. We rejoice in bringing out the laws of the Most High. The works of the Lord. Telling people to get right. Go ahead. And in his law doth he meditate. In his law doth he meditate. You got your mind on this. You got your mind on you trying to be careful and not commit sin. Not do the things the Lord said not to do. You pick up something and you find it's got something unclean in it. You put it back. You jump back. Oh man, I almost ate that. You know. Oh, I didn't know they had shrimp in this. I ain't going to eat it. You know. Go ahead, brother. Uh, the Lord doth he meditate. Day and night. In his law doth he meditate day and night. Go ahead. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Right, refreshed. It always bring a forth fruit. Go ahead. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Go ahead, bro. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Shall Let him be upon you. Go ahead. Most I got to hate. That's right. She happy too. He's seen us. You know, she saw us, the sister saw us and smiled and, and wished us peace be under you, right? Which she think is the Sabbath, which is really not. But hey, that's the understanding that will come to Jacob later on, you know? But but what did Paul say? He said, I have much people in this city. Most I got people everywhere, man. And all of them ain't standing on the corner teaching, you know? The elect is everywhere, man. And most high hey, doing this mighty work. Go ahead, brother. The ungodly are not so. Right, the ungodly are not so. They're not like a tree planted by the waters. Who's leave what shall not will it? They're the opposite of that. They dry it up of thirst. Go ahead, bro. Or oh, I like the trap which the wind driveth away. Wow, go ahead. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Right, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Why? They're gonna be burned up. Go ahead. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. And we tell them now, all the sinners thereof of my people shall be destroyed. As it says in Amos, nine and all ten. Go ahead. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That's right. The Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly, you're going to perish. And there is no choice. It's not up to you, okay? The Most High had it preordained already, before the foundation of the earth, who it was that would seek him out, and he would show himself to them. This is Proverbs 17, verse 15. He that justifies justify the wicked right and he that condemns the just even they are abomination to the lord right just like that edomite was up here doing he was saying y'all you are loud mouth y'all loud mouth what the lord said lift up thy voice like a trumpet what are we doing what we're supposed to be doing but he didn't tell him to walk around with it, you know switching and shit okay so as the scripture says you know you got you got it on deck can you read your book he that justifies the wicked right. and he that condemneth the just, even they are an abomination 
to the Lord. What did that guy say? Homosexuals have rights. That's what he said. He was justifying the wicked. And then he was, you know, speaking down on us. And no Jake in his right mind, we don't agree with that stuff, man. That's why they're after the so-called black man with their hardest, trying to pimp you out, trying to make you effeminate. Yeah. Because you're the, you're the sign, the symbol of strength on the earth, even in your broken down condition. Yeah. Who they got on 50 foot billboard? LeBron James, you know, them guys, the Rosen, yeah. the Greek Freak. They got these men up. Why? Because they're the Israelites. They're the flavor of the salt of the whole earth. Jump in, y'all. Jake, Jake I, don't, I don't understand how Jake don't realize that the attack is against you. Yep. The attack is against your manhood, man. Your manhood is getting attacked every day. But Jake's sweet. Yep. Hey, but many of our people concerning that scripture are justified and wicked, man. Yep. You know, they like to play both sides. They like to be in the middle. They don't want to, uh, uh, they don't want to offend nobody. Yep. Well, it is what it is because there's only two sides of the fence. If you ain't on the side of the Lord, then you gonna have to die with the people you justified with. Okay, yeah, that's being lukewarm. You know, so if, if you're with, uh, with homosexuality, right, sex, gender, pedophilia, and all that bad, then you gotta get, you gotta get exterminated from them too. You gotta have the same report as they get. Right, same report. They didn't get offended. Right. They didn't get offended the wicked. Just like in this week, if they didn't get the murderer, they, hey, what, what's your judgment? Because because you, because you want to because you want to keep it going, you know. Now that's often what you're doing. You want to keep it going. I got a script. Uh, brother Paul. Where in the Bible right does it mention women? It reads. It says, I want to know that. Mention women doing where, what? Where does it? Where mention does it women doing what? Where does it signify women? Where does it signify? Yeah. Where does it, yeah, where does it support? Um, why multiple you, perception. Why are you talking? Where does it support multiple reality? Where does it support that? Because you could. Where does it support it? Where does it support? You're not answering my question. I don't have to answer your question. Why not? I don't want to answer. I don't want to answer. That's the oh, point. That's the point I'm making. The point, you ain't making no point. You, you just use a lot it's of words. No, 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 no. It's you're trying to, you're trying to justify your wickedness because no. you like women. You're trying to justify your wickedness. Uh, that, you has like women. that has to do with love. That has to do with source energy. Uh, it has to do with wickedness. That's what the scripture says. I got that. I got that. Make a fool out of you. Conversations like this entice me. We ain't having no because I want to, 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 I want to stimulate your intellect. I want to stimulate your intellect. I'm talking to men. I'm talking to men now. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't neglect my love for you guys because I'm not sexually attracted to them. Well, we don't love you. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking. Love you. No, 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 no. Now, and out of love, we're telling you to get right. That's, that's just what get a dress. Love. Put a dress on. Wait a second, wait a second. Love is acceptance. Love is acceptance. No, Period. love is act. Listen, no in black parenting, is the main like thing that stimulates mental health. To answer your question. This is Romans 1. So All right. acceptance is love. Period. Oh, yeah, Romans 1 verse 26, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And, all, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust, one toward another. Men with men working that which is un, un, unseemly you know, and James, receiving James. in themselves that recompense you know, of the error today. which was me. You know, those yeah. who now, were now, were actually what's the gay, natural use and they of wrote women. it in the hatred of themselves. Of you, know you know that, right? You right? know that, right? Bring children and multiply. Help you know the Romans to help were gay, the right? So what? They were Edomites. They were gay. Yeah. Just like these Romans today. They're yeah. a bunch of gay. That's who wrote it. Yeah. No, they ain't no, who wrote it. No. No, That's who wrote it. That's your excuse? The Lord is not going to excuse your wickedness on a uh, on a loophole. I don't answer to your God. It's based Genesis off three, verse Let sixteen. It's based off perception. Unto the woman, <laughs> He said, "I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shalt thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. We are your Lord. Close that trap. <laughs> All right." I got my Most I put the man over the woman for a purpose, not the other way around. You don't tell him what we do. All right? That's exactly why. I Second edge like. eight. That, that ain't the why. Y'all have a sense of entitlement. Y'all can't even feel it. Y'all not, not even in touch with your own emotions. Uh, you don't even understand that emotions. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Job 39, verse 17. What? Because God has deprived her can of you, Can you carry life? Right. Can you Jesus carry life? Can you actually carry a physical being inside you? When, uh, 
where you create a bond with that being. A woman actually carries a man and constructs him. Do you know that men are actually females before they're even... Because God is the creator of wisdom. What? Your dick is a huge clitoris. Period. Somebody get their powers, bro. The only thing that differentiates men and women is estrogen and well, testosterone. That's it. Uh, women That's it. If I take testosterone right now, a woman can't bear a child unless a man puts that shit right now, in I would have a beard. I would have hey. a broad shoulder. Hey, bro, I would have a alone. fucking jawbone like that. yours. That's the only thing that men and women. That's it. Alright, alright. Not power, not anything else. It's based off the Leave alone. But let me open this like you know, don't want to know. Second Ezra 8, verse 1. It says, and he answered me saying, the Most High has made this world for many, right? but for the world to come for few. The Most High has made this world for many, right? You the world to come for few. You We're looking for the elect. Somebody for ah, man. Go away, man. Go away. Go away. It makes no sense. They're not bothering you, man. man. It's all good. We okay. understand it. We know Ephesians. You cannot judge. You are judging. Remember oh, yeah. that. You are judging. I operate on energy. You operate the on the energy wickedness. I'm you fine. operate there on wickedness. There is a cult that's that fine. allows hey, 12 year olds. Hey, man. Bye. Guess what? Bye. Guess what? Go to Ephesians, bro. Ephesians 6 and 11. You get to Ephesians 6 and 11. Go to that. 6 and 12. Y'all 6 and 12. Listen to all the Drawing more demons. Like spirits link up together. Are you hurting anybody? Are you hurting anybody? He hurt my feelings. Yeah. He hurt my feelings. He got nothing to do. They have control of their own. You got it, bro. But, it, but remember, it said in the Bible, thou hast not judged. What did no, he do? No, 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 First, yeah. That's it. Nine eleven was they, judgment from You have to depend on a deity no, the because you don't believe in yourself. Uh, this is uh, First Corinthians. So can we judge? These guys said we cannot judge. The scriptures say different. Here it is. Uh, First Corinthians six verse one from the Holy Bible. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do ye know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are luckily to be in the church. So we can judge, as the scriptures say. Okay, as long as we ain't doing these works that we judging, we can we can judge. This one is good to say for your ego. judge it righteous your ego. judgment. I got one bro. You can't do nothing about it. Bro. You don't want I don't want to because it's your perception. So I can defend mine like you defend yours. First Corinthians 2. Y'all want people to hear y'all, but y'all can't hear nobody else. That's the point. With That's the point. Also we, how can we? How can I listen to you? You won't take the time to listen to me. We don't want you to listen. We tell you to leave. First Corinthians two verse twelve. Yeah. So why be out here? Now we have received. Why, why pose yourself to the possibility now we have of opposition? The why be the here? World, but the spirit. Why be here? Most high. If you don't that want someone to listen, if you want someone to listen to your word, if you want to tell the truth, why can't you be uh, susceptible to someone else's? Which not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches the comparing. Spiritual things with spiritual. I mean, y'all go based but off example. In order to be listened to, you have to show someone how to listen. To you won't listen high, to me. For they are foolish to him. Contradiction. Neither can he know them because You're a contradiction. they are Lord spiritual. Lord, crazy to be a woman to bring forth life. I'm still a woman. You're not doing this. I'm still a woman. Still a woman. I'm still a woman. But he Nothing has changed about my womanhood. Nothing. All things. But you wouldn't know that because you don't know me. But he you know like what women. you think that you know. You, like men you hear my Judges voice? You hear my things. voice? That's a woman's voice. Do you see my face? That's a woman's face. You see my body? That's a woman's body. So what? So what? And your bald head. He made you to have hair. That's my perception. That's my perception. Period. It's that small. It's that small. It's, Galatians it's that 6. small. It started verse 7. Right. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. You can't mock the most high. Go ahead. But whatsoever a man soweth, that right. shall he also reap. I haven't you denounced you. Wickedness, you reap I haven't denounced you. I haven't said anything about what you said is wrong. I just said that I'm not wrong either. But he that soweth to his flesh, I don't have to. I don't have to deny your, your truth emotions. in order to have my own. Think God about your emotions. And your That's own. For he that soweth to his flesh, shall 
to all you don't have to deny someone else's right fruit. corruption. Uh, that's why the most perception high perception is in the order for yours to be reality. For he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. That's, that's right. the truth. For he that sows to his spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. When we out here sowing to the spirit, she asked why we out here. Because we're looking for the elect, those that want to conform to the ways of the Lord. So if you they ain't don't conform, conform to the ways of the Lord. We don't want to deal with you. That's interesting. Because the Lord going to destroy you. That's that's the okay? opposite to of the, ones the that purpose listen, of humanity. That, repent, that is the opposite. The, Lord, hey, go to the purpose of humanity. So if a white person says, if you're not black, I don't want you a part of this, that's literally the same thing you just said. Literally the same thing you just said. So don't fucking talk about racism. Ahead, don't talk about biases. Ahead, if someone doesn't conform to you, then you don't want them around. Thank you, Lord. That's a fucking contradiction. You're idiots. Call upon him while he is near. Call upon the Think Lord while yourself. he is near. Go Think ahead. Think for yourself. Let the wicked for yourself. forsake his you way. Have your soul, your own way. You have your mind. Think. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. Right, and what'll happen? And let him return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. How do you do that? You go by what his word says. When his word says two women shouldn't be together, you don't do that. When the word says two men shouldn't be together, you don't do that. You come back to the ways of the Lord. Read that again. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Right. And he will have mercy you upon him. You return to the Lord, he'll have mercy upon you. You hey, see? You. That's what right the now. scriptures say. We ain't here for her either. Alright? She eat might. Yeah, so we don't care. Take up with him. Oh, hey, I accept my reality. Good. You can call me what you want. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I want to talk about you know what? So you know what's so cool. Ahead, cool. It's supposed to be reality when yeah, martial right. laws take the streets. That's right. It's supposed to be reality when the race wars pop off. People have to be an energetic match to that. You have to be an energetic match to that. You have to go get a big match on the street. If you keep thinking it's gonna happen, it happens. When the missiles come to hit Bad Wall. If you keep thinking it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. That's how energy works. You construct it. We gonna pray. If you think it's gonna happen, oh, it's gonna happen. Hell, it's gonna happen. That's, That's right. what we gonna pray. We gonna pray if you right. think I'm gonna have a bad day today, you have and a fucking also, bad day. So also, if you think there's gonna be people making law excuses and they say the Lord made them that way, they're lying. The Lord did not, did not, not make people to be crazy part go is, against his, his word. I can okay? feel the conviction you in you specifically. That. That's read crazy. That. That's so crazy. Because you're in this, this but there's an like inkling of you. That's, you're not sure. That's crazy. That's crazy. Part of you ain't sure. All right. They need to address that. Verse 13. Address that. That's right. Let that. no man say when he is tempted, I am work. tempted of God. Right. For God cannot tempt, be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. That's right. Of his own lust and enticed. So, hey, amen. The Lord ain't make you that way. You chose to be that way. You're sure, but he. Well, but, you, but you know what? Even though you chose, hey, the Heavenly Father put, put that, that spirit, spirit on you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, he gave you over to a reprobate Val, man. Val effects. Yeah. Val effects. Read that. Read that. Now there's a little more there. Go ahead. Uh, James 1 and 15. Then when lust have conceived, right. it bringeth forth yeah, sin, yep. and sin when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Hurt. Right. See? Hurt. People hurt. That's right. They hurt over the word. <laughs> and you can say we instigate it. We ain't really instigate nothing but through the Spirit. That's all. But, and but, again, Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. But when the disciples was on the scene, right, when they spoke, riots broke out. When the prophets was on the scene, what was happening? There was an uproar, man. So when people say, uh, the minute the Lord can't talk like that, you don't know the Bible. Because this was taking place when the prophets was out there. What do you think they killed Ste They stole Stephen for? Because Stephen cut him. Stephen cut him so deeply that they stoned him. Same thing we're doing. Stephen. But they know who's speaking though, but this this is saying here when the men of the Lord were speaking, preaching the words of Yahweh by Shinel Shah, seeing that crazy. And what's crazy is we're not out here speaking our vain opinions. Right. We're reading from the scriptures, we're reading from the Lord's yeah, words. So people you. getting upset, they're not getting upset oh, with us. Right. They're not Hold getting on. upset with us, they're getting I'll upset with the, the most high in his way, not us. Besides being white. It's not a color thing. It's not a color thing. Right. How many demons do we watch? We don't do nothing about color. Multitude. Right now. Right now. How many demons do I have? You got a complete number. Seven times, seven times. We don't know. We can't count. We got spirits on you. We got sober up. Yeah. Well, I have demons. Because look, I I was I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Who you got spirits on you, right? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Have you been drinking? Yeah. What's another word for alcohol? So what do they call it? Spirits. Why the spirits? That's what we're going in. <laughs> well, no. I mean, if, if you think about it, bro, 
but I want you to look at me and be like, dude, he has demonic possession. See, I already look at you like that. But, but me and Chad is doing discriminate. I understand. Right, the word is doing this specific, which is discriminate. It's going to bring forth the Israelites. We don't care what comes on now, child. We don't care. But you got to be able to do what the cross is. Alright, what's in that? You got to repent. How can you live when the demons destroy your life? Because this right here will get the demons off of you if you live in here. Dude, I've done that. that. I've well, done that. that. You allowed to judge me. You already done that. Okay? You can't do that for you. It feels like, listen, listen. I feel like I'm an abomination. That I no longer am available. I sold my soul to the devil. The contract said, what did you get? Heaven is not available. What did you get? For selling your soul, what did you get? No, I'm saying that's what it feels like. I stole my soul to the devil. I'm not saying I did. Or or no, no. But what, what we want to know is why y'all now bothering us, man? Oh, I'm not. I'm we not trying not. to deliver the word. I'm, I'm you stopping other people? No, I want to hear the word. Okay, I want to know why I'm so fucking God. possessed God. by demons. God. God. Right. Tell me why I'm possessed and, by and, demons, and, and, and I believe even even, even dealing with the word racist. See, this is how this is drunk the wine we've been talking about. No, no, tell me. Know, this Why is, am I when, still when people, possessed by when demons? When people hear the word racist, they automatically think a bad thing. Racist just means to be with your own yeah, kind. Like you want to be with your own people, so you can call him racist. The Lord was racist because he came for his people. You see, if I call you a bicyclist, what does that mean? You're a racist. <laughs> no, you hate bicyclists. <laughs> you're a pianist. <laughs> see, funny. that's what directly you do to the man. The thing is though, I don't know why I believe in God. I uh, believe in Jesus. This why is Isaiah I 58 verse 1. Me? This is why we out here too. Okay? Other than fishing for the elect and giving them guts and a prophecy of the hour. Oh, God, go there! Cry aloud! Spear not! Uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet! So this is why we speak loud on the creek, okay? Go ahead. And show my people their transgression! Yeah, so we show these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans where they're going off at. We're going off before it's in the scripture. You tell you, you're supposed to be eating. What about the real life food? That ain't right. See? You're supposed to be destroying your body, man. What about the real life food? Mock. They And the house of Jacob, their sin. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness. And for some, not the ordinance of your God. That's what the Most High want us to do again. Seek righteousness. Have you read it? You know? That's what I call oh, my you know God. What? Oh, you know what? Let's go back to um, Psalms. Psalms. <laughs> Fly back from the top. Where you were, uh, 11 or whatever it was? I was at 15, but I still up. Okay, no, if you well, start back from the beginning. Well, I told you to start. I don't remember what verse. It was 11. Okay, go ahead. So as you can see, before you read it, as you can see, one demon can bring about other demons, you know? That little homosexual, that uh, that woman, that it, whatever it was, she had a problem with the words of the Lord. But you want to have a discussion. Brother, can I bring this up real fast? And I made a statement yeah, about, uh, out of men of the Lord, what was taking place. Yep. And in Acts 7, I'm going to start at 51. It says, Ye stiff neck, stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which show before of the coming of the just one, of whom he has been now the betrayer and murder. And that's who people, that's who the only people, people rebellious and like doing the same thing. I was preaching the gospel. We're telling you that the Lord is doing that. We're telling you that righteousness is about to come over. They go to salvation for you. If you were the elect, for the elect for the four of us, uh, all Israel is standing in the We're telling you you have better things to come. They don't want that. They want to stay here. They want to keep you smelling here. That we 
was we were speaking mean or something like that, but this is oh, you got I still got some more. It says uh, verse 53 says, Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it? When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. That's right. And they were and they gnashed <laughs> on him with their teeth. As the brother brought out. When Stephen spoke when he spoke, the Israelites got cut. That's why they wanted to put him to death. Go ahead, bro. But he being full of the Holy Spirit looked up steadfast into heaven yep. and saw the glory of Yahweh and of Yahweh's side standing on the right hand of Yahweh. Yep. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of Yahweh. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witness laid down the clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. And that's the point. Yeah. They were so cut because of what they were doing and what their forefathers that they stoned Scott. You know what I mean? And how that Like the brother said, those wicked Israelites are why they blinded now for that blood that they shed. Okay, that's why they can't get it. You know, because the Lord got their mind closed. And now you see these demons turning the music on, man. Get, hey, but you know it is what it is. Just gonna read loud. Right back.